Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is mobile applications, a vital part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Architecture and Systems Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll explore three important aspects of mobile applications, notification techniques, location-based services, and augmented reality. Mobile notification techniques involve applications driven by push technology, or server push, which describes a style of internet-based communication where the request for a given transaction is initiated by the publisher or central server. Email is probably the most widely used example of a push-enabled mobile notification application. Push technology is contrasted with pull technology where the request for transmission of information is initiated by the receiver or client. Mobile notification services are often based on information preferences expressed in advance. This technique is known as a publish-subscribe model. In it, a client subscribes to various information channels that broadcast information such as news and sports scores. Whenever new content is available on one of those channels, the server pushes that information out to the user. Other push-enabled notification applications include market data distribution, or stock ticker information, chat and messaging systems for web chats, auctions, online betting and gaming, monitoring consoles, and sensor network monitoring. A location-based service is one that makes use of a mobile device's geographical position to provide information relevant to the area in which the phone, and presumably the user, is located. Examples include services that serve up a map and directions from the current point to a desired destination, or provide the names and addresses of nearby points of interest, museums, restaurants, hotels, historical houses, and so forth, or utilize social media apps to inform the user which of their friends are nearby and where they are, and vice versa. They also may direct advertising to local customers and provide personalized weather services or even allow participation in location-based scavenger hunts and other games. Augmented reality is a term for a live, direct, or indirect view of a physical, real-world environment whose elements are enhanced by computer-generated sensory input, such as sound, video, graphics, or GPS data. It's related to a more general concept called mediated reality, in which a view of reality is modified by the computer. These are different than virtual reality, which replaces the real world with a simulated one. One familiar example is the use of the yellow first down line superimposed on the field in television broadcasts of American football games, which is applied to make clear how far the team on offense must advance the ball to receive a first down. Similarly, TV networks often display virtual messages on the walls of baseball parks that are real. This module has explored three important aspects of mobile applications notification techniques, location-based services, and augmented reality. Having completed it, you may next wish to peruse the module covering impacts of mobile computing on e-commerce, information architecture, and usability. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.